Guys, welcome to the channel. This one is an exciting video. I've got two different Seiko Presage cocktail watches. Uh, probably the most desirable and hardest to find. This is the SRP B41 with that gradient blue dial. <laughs> oh my goodness, check that out. Look how stunning that is and how it changes with the light and those applied indices, how they grab uh, the lights here where I'm at. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, the other one here is the white version or the traditional version of the cocktail. This is the SRP B77, um, equally as stunning, although not quite as popular, at least within the watch community. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to show the two side by side. I really love Seiko watches. I love their dress watches. I think they've kind of perfected the dress watch with uh, the delicate forms, the Dauphine style hands, those applied indices, and uh, these presage cocktails offer some serious value. And that's what I enjoy about Seiko is the value for money. So uh, these retail for about $450 in the US. You can find them cheaper uh, anywhere from $300 to uh, $350 depending on where you get them from and pre-owned is about that price. I wouldn't expect to find some crazy deals on the blue one just because uh, places have a hard time keeping this one in stock because it is so desirable. But um, yeah, just a fun video showing the two side by side, just talking about some of the specs. Uh, they're both 40 millimeter wide dress watches with very dynamic crystals. We have a, a box Hardlex crystals that, that raise proud of the bezel. And you can see the domed cocktail <laughs> sunburst dial that just is uh, so interesting and so much fun to look at. I mean, they play in the light very well. You can see in direct sunlight or soft light, um, really is just quite mesmerizing. I like the cupcake style crown. They are signed with the traditional Seiko S logo. So both watches house the uh, 4R35, which is Seiko's date only version of the 4R36 so it's a 21,600 BPH uh, movement with the Spron 110 mainspring yes it does hack and it does hand wind and I find them to be uh, pretty accurate watches pretty nice for the money uh, you can tell that they're pretty basic they're not decorated and they do have a skeletonized gold tone rotor in the back here now the watches have a push pull crown to operate the movement has set the time. It is not a screw down crown, but you do have 50 meters of water resistance. And there are no drilled lugs on this model, but um, really pretty. I want to show you the bracelet. They come with um, kind of absurdly big bracelets. So if you have uh, very large wrists, you'll have, you'll probably even have to take some links out to get a proper fit. But the bracelet tapers, there's a nice brushed and polished alternating finish to each link and uh, they're pretty solid. There's a butterfly style clasp. Um, I really like the bracelet. Surprisingly, it's good quality. The only negative point is you have folded end links as opposed to solid end links. They still fit and hug the case pretty well, but it would be nice to see uh, some solid ones at this price point at over $300. Now, I think the cocktail, at least the Presage cocktail, has two main competitors for the price point. You're really in entry level SARB territory, so your SARB 33 and 35, you can still find in the low 300s, the mid 300s, uh, which has a little bit nicer of a movement and a sapphire crystal, and it is a smaller watch as well. The other one is an Orient Bambino, the, the latest generation, the generation two, has come out in a couple of the versions, and th they'll be a little bit cheaper um, and very similar in size, very similar in in execution with a bubble crystal and uh, just a very dynamic domed dial but those ones will not come with a nice bracelet and a little bit less of name brand recognition than the Seikos but uh, overall I just wanted to show you the two side by side I can't get over how gorgeous these watches are <laughs> they uh, they just they make you smile they make you say wow I mean they really are quite pretty and I think these would just shine on a nice quality leather or even like a polished Milanese style mesh. I think that would be pretty cool. So anyways, that's my thoughts on the Presage Cocktail Time 
stunning watches, gorgeous watches. If you want a statement piece, if you want a nice quality dress watch and you don't want to spend a crazy amount of money, uh, these are really, really solid options. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Please reach out to me and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.